And welcome back to our Let's Play of Demon Souls. I am Chubby Cheese It, the latter half of the Three Heart Runners. And with me today is a silent protagonist. She says hi. And in this episode, we are going to be finishing up the first level of World 4 2. This is a level that I came around and dicked around in for a good, probably, quarter of this. Uh, a quarter of this let's play but it's about time that we finally get through it through this um, the very first part of this is going to be fighting off these skeletons and now that we have the blue blood sword these guys are a piece of cake and uh, my character is basically decked down now I mean now it's it's just it's all really all about just running through this level as fast as you can I can kill these guys in one hit by just walking behind them and stabbing them in the back I'm just a bastard like that but anyways, like I said, it's just, it's, it's fairly simple now. Um, this is why setting up your character is very important in this game. If you just take some time to actually do something in that instead of trying to rush around and get through this game, you can set yourself up to the point where this game's actually pretty easy. All you gotta learn is the system. The game is not as hard as everybody seems to think it is. But with that being said, you still have to be able to train yourself into actually being able to fight in this game I had to put back on my uh, regenerator ring because I was wondering why I wasn't regenerating any health but you know I'll be alright anyways we're gonna come up here first um, for some reason I didn't watch the episode beforehand so I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing um, but anyways we'll come up here and we'll kill these guys off really quick Again, back off there, quick one slice across the face, and he's dead. Um, this world actually gave me probably the most trouble out of all of them. Um, everybody th thinks that um, World 5 is actually kind of difficult, but I never had any issues with that because the combat in there is only difficult when you have to fight um, those tall um, Italian guys that we were talking about. Um, in this level, there's a lot of complicated fighting. Um, there's people that do high da amounts of damage to you with just one strike, they move fast, and they move hard. But what's actually kind of ironic about this is I think the bosses in this world are the easiest. Um, in particular, this boss here. Now, he can kill you in one hit, but you know, as long as you're not stupid about taking him down and you know where to hit him, you're going to be fine. These guys can be a little annoying, but with my upgraded compound longbow, doesn't take anything to take these guys down. Um, these guys are going to be your biggest annoyance in this entire level, but a good trick to avoiding them is to actually use um, a ring, the, one of the rings that brings your threat level down. Um, for some reason, I can't remember that right now. The Thief's Ring, there we go. Um, the Thief's Ring will bring your threat level down, and the enemies will not be able to see you as well. Makes you blind to their condition. Maybe they just can't see thieves, or maybe they just can't see your your soul. But who knows? Am I right? This protagonist, silent, silence. She 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 agrees with me completely. But anyways, uh, walk up this up these stairs. Um, there's gonna be two guys here that can be a little tricky to take out. Um, because one of them has a bow, and then on the other side there's one of the red-eyed uh, skeleton dudes. Um, if you get involved with him. Just watch out for his lunge attack. He can kill you pretty easily, but there's no sense in fighting something uh, at this point. Um, if you can avoid any unnecessary um, evil, avoid the unnecessary evil. Now, you need to make sure you come up here for two reasons. One, there's a dude up here that you need to kill. And two, um, there's actually quite a few uh, of those flying mana rays that... Uh, you need to take care of before you cross this bridge or else without the thief's ring will make your day very 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 hard because there um because along the outside of this wall there are some enemies that are imp that are quite particularly strong and a little annoying to take out and with these guys shooting at you at the same time it's it's virtually impossible again eliminating all your threats before you actually go out and and take on some difficult enemies is going to make the difficult enemies in a way a lot easier um, 
Now, as you can see, I'm doing a lot of shifting with my inventory and whatnot. And the reason why I do that is because the armor that I'm wearing is is still heavy armor. And if I wield both my cross, um, not my crossbow, but my compound longbow and my sword at the same time, I won't be able to roll out of the way really quickly. I, in this game, um, unlike Dark Souls, I like to be able to roll away very, very quickly. Um, in Dark Souls, things are a little bit different. Wielding heavy armor actually has more benefits than it does in this game. Um, ah. Yeah, I almost died there, but I'm just too awesome for that. Um, one stab with these guys, the way I have my character set up, um, will kill them. At, at, at this point, I have so much so much points um, distributed in, in strength and dexterity that I, I do lots and lots of damage. I may not have a lot of health, which a lot of people actually... Whoa, that was really close. Um, a lot of people recommend putting lots of points into health. I don't think that you should do that. I think that you put a lot... Of, to put a lot of points into dexterity and a lot of points into strength because it brings up your attack you can always heal yourself I mean you don't need to run around and you know be able to be able to take a lot of, a lot of hits if you are good at blocking and you're good at attacking you can take out enemies quickly with high damage now after a new game um, when you play the game through again that's when you should start leveling and put lots of points all into your health because they do more damage because of that there's there are, there are definitely enemies here that could kill me in one hit on the new game but anyways we're getting ready to go against the boss did a cool little dodge there because I'm awesome like that and let's take on this dude um, this guy it can be a little annoying he has a long tongue and when you're up on high the higher rise he can lick you with the tongue and hurt you. But of course he's also very easy as well. As you can see, I just knocked him down a little already. All you have to do is walk over to the sword that's sticking out of his belly, slice it, he falls down. And as you can see, I beat him in one little eensy weensy shot. One of the easiest bosses in the game. And you get a cool weapon from him if you decide to make it. But anyways, this has been Chubby Cheese It with silent protagonist of the three heart runners see you later